Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I look vile because I'm currently packing for Australia and um, I have to wear whatever I'm not taking because most of my things are in bags like this or in the wash downstairs. So this is the beginning of the vlog of me going back to Australia. By the end of this vlog, I will be in Perth, which is scary. Um, I'm flying tomorrow at like 9.30. So I've got all day today. It's currently like 11 o'clock. I've got all day tomorrow just to sort out my life. The issue with, that I'm facing at the moment is my baggage. Um, we have a massive suitcase that we brought back and we've got one of those each, me and my, me and my um, partner. So we're allowed 20 kg and then we're allowed 7 kg. But last time we were allowed 25, so we're really gonna be cutting it fine. I need to go and buy a scale so I can weigh it once everything's been packed. Also, as a backup, what we're doing is, um, when we did the move from Australia to the UK, we sent two massive boxes of all our stuff back. Um, so I've got that box downstairs that is still like set up, it's empty now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack everything I want and then any extra things, I'm gonna put it in the box. Tom's gonna bring his extra things, put it in the box. And then once we've got an apartment in either Perth or Sydney, we're not sure yet, we will get that box shipped um, to to us. We used them last time, it's called Send My Bags. This is not sponsored or anything, but it was so, so smooth. I don't wanna jinx it, touch wood. But um, it literally took like two or three days. Literally two or three days. I don't even know how it got there that quickly. And like from the day we sent it in Bondi and it arrived, I think we sent it on like the Friday, maybe I was exaggerating a bit. And it got to my house on the Wednesday in England. So that's a backup that we're doing. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on because I've got loads of packing to do um, and I'll update you. <laughs> Hello, so it's the day that we're flying today. It's currently three o'clock. Um, it's currently three o'clock. We're flying at half nine. So we'll be setting off in a couple of hours. Oh, I'm so exhausted already. <laughs> and I've got 20 hours of flying ahead of me. I had to go and buy a new little weight scale because mine just decided to completely stop working and was giving completely inaccurate readings. So we did that yesterday um, and we've been sort of like weighing our bags as it goes. Um, we're flying with Malaysia Air. I've never flown with them before, but just a warning, you only get 20 kg with them. And I know I said that yesterday, but it's very unusual. I think like all of, of all other times I've had um 25 i think 25 is the basic 30 is if you're with someone like really good like emirates or someone like that um so i'm a bit interested to see what the flight will be like i hope it's still nice and we're stopping off in kuala lumpur which is the capital of malaysia if i am correct i am coming back in february so it's not too bad. Last time, obviously, I thought I was going to be gone for six months, but I ended up being gone. Ended up being gone for two years. So very um, different. I feel like all we know is being in Australia and not being able to see our family. Whereas that's completely not the case. Like you can come back whenever you want. It's a plane ride away. So we're literally just going four or five months, which is doable. Plus my sister's out there, meeting us out there. She's currently in the air. She'll be landing in Perth in a few hours. So, yep, I will probably check in when we get to Heathrow. Check and put our bags through. Or I might show you the amount of luggage that we've got. <laughs> Terminal 4 is rubbish, there's hardly anything here for food. So I forgot to take any videos on the plane, probably because I took a sleeping tablet. And oh my god, it worked so well. So we're now in Kuala Lumpur Airport. And let me show you this because it's really pretty. It's like a jungle boardwalk. And you can walk through it, but I'm pretty sure it's shut at the moment. Um, yeah, never been to Kuala Lumpur Airport, never been to Malaysia before. So I think we've got about an hour here before we need to board 
and then we're going to Perth, Kuala Lumpur to Perth, which is another five hours. So we're really lucky with this flight because it was only, I think it's like 22 hours in total, which is like luxury compared to on our way back when it took us about 35 hours. I need to keep remembering to record on this angle of the phone because my front camera is awful. So, oh, don't mind us going up to the catering section. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna find a coffee now because our plan is have a coffee, don't sleep on the next plane, then take another tablet when we get to Perth and it'll be 2 a.m. that time. And then hopefully- Take a sleeping tablet, that is. Yeah, take a sleeping tablet. And it's uh, like over the counter, not even prescription. So they're not even very intense. And then hopefully by the time we pick up the van, which is literally in two days, we won't be jet lagged, fingers crossed. Hello from my sunny Perth. I need to finish it off guys. Um, I've never vlogged around my sister before, so anyway. So last night we got to the Airbnb, um, which is in, Mant Beth, where is this? Maylands. In Maylands. So we're only here for like two nights and then we pick up the van tomorrow. Yeah. So last night we got in at 2 a.m. Um, and it's 2 p.m. now. We slept until 1 p.m. And then my sister finally woke us up and was like, guys, we kind of need to get going. So we just got up um, and we're going to get the train because there's a train station really close to Maylands. We're going to get the train into town to send uh, Perth CBD get some food and then also get the train from Perth CBD to Fremantle to have a look. I've heard that Fremantle is meant to be like the Bondi beach of Perth so let's see and then I'll stop the vlog tonight because then we're picking up the van so that will go into a new vlog. So we got a little sushi from Sushi Hub and we got a coffee from a really cute gaming store. I'll put some footage in of that because it was like really sweet you could buy someone else a coffee. Uh, and now we've just come down to Elizabeth Key. Um, it's like four o'clock now. We're gonna try and go to Fremantle. Um, you can get the ferry over there or you can get the train. So we're not sure which one we'll do. It's a bit of an odd layout. So we're in Fremantle now and this is the inner Fremantle Harbour and this is apparently where you can see dolphins. But obviously not right now, but that's okay. So we're just having a little wander around. I think the beach is over there and then we're gonna get some food in Fremantle we walked past a couple of cool like I think they're like used to be shipping containers um, and they've sort of like turned them into restaurants but yeah oh look can you see that oh no you can't there's a fish <laughs> so we've just walked along the sort of like stony boardwalk a little bit very windy. So um, I'm trying to think back because that finished this vlog a couple of days ago now and I'm just editing it. But basically um, we just had dinner and then went back to um, our apartment and then we literally couldn't fall asleep until like 3am, 4am. So jet lag very much hit in then. Um, and then the next day we got up and collected the campan, which is where we are now, um, which we will see in the vlog um, after this one. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next week's video. Bye.